Did you know that there is a direct correlation between your own motivation, your performance and your stress levels? So if you're feeling not very motivated at the moment, it can have a very easy to explain reason. And I want to dive with you today into understanding the correlation between motivation, performance and stress. Hello and welcome. I'm very excited to have you on my YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about how you can be more performant, more productive while living a healthy life, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click the little notification bell that is right next to it to make sure that you are receiving updates every time new content is online. And I'm releasing new videos every Monday and every Friday. So let's jump into today's topic. What can you do when your motivation is low and where does that come from? In order to understand how motivation and performance are correlated, it is very important to understand what happens in your body. I'm sure that all of you have heard about stress and I'm sure that you all have experienced stress. But what does stress really mean and can we create a stress free life. Something I should probably do a YouTube video about one day as well, because the very simple answer is no. Everybody experiences stress. Even though stress has a very negative connotation, it is a very important physical process that is happening in your body. And if you don't have the so-called stress response, and I'm going to explain to you what that exactly means, then you wouldn't be probably sitting in front of your computer right now. You wouldn't be able to go to work and you wouldn't get anything done in your life. So there is something to say about why it is so important in the first place to have the so-called stress response. So what happens in your body? Well, first of all, there's a stress trigger, right? This could be anything from having a work deadline, having very high workload or picking up your kids from school and sitting in a traffic jam. So your brain processes that information and it activates the so-called sympathetic nervous system, also known as the fight or flight response. And what then happens when this sympathetic nervous system is activated is that we are releasing different types of hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, and they are responsible for, for example, increasing our heart rate, increasing our blood pressure. We also have increased breathing in order to get ready for the so-called fight or flight, right? But this is very extreme. We also need that in order to just get up. So for example, in the morning, you will have a very natural spike in adrenaline and cortisol in order to get up and in order to do all of the different things that you have going on during your day. So that is very important that you understand that first of all. Second of all, it is it's very important to understand what a stress curve looks like. So on the x-axis you have stress and on the y-axis you have performance. And as you can see here in the picture, the stress curve looks like a bell curve. So at the beginning it goes up, so the more stress you have, or the, the more of that stress response that you have, the more productive you will actually be. But there is a certain point, the so-called peak performance point or magic spot, then when you're experiencing too much stress, the stress curve will actually decrease again. So we will not be more performant by having a stronger and stronger stress response, which basically just simply means that you're having more adrenaline and more cortisol that is going through your body. That is very important important to understand. So in the first part in the stress curve you have little stress but you're also not very performant. This is a very important information because you might be not feeling very motivated right now because there is literally not enough adrenaline pumping through your body in order to keep you going. So you might feel bored, you might feel unmotivated, you might feel uninspired and it's almost more like an inactive state. And that is why it is important to have certain stress levels in our body in order to be productive, in order to be focused, in order to deliver great results. So stress is not negative. It just depends on how you're using stress to your advantage. And I have a really great podcast episode about using stress 
to your advantage. And I will make sure to link it in the video up here. So where you want to get to is that you're having enough adrenaline and cortisol in your body to find your magic spot of your own peak performance. That is super individual. Some people like to deal with more stress and they like to have more adrenaline and cortisol in their body. And some people might need less in order to be performant. So it is very individual and that is the part where you really excel at everything that you do. You excel at your job, you excel at work, you have a great relationship with your stakeholders, with your clients, with your colleagues, and you also have a great balanced life. Because what is really important to know is that if you are having sustained high levels of stress, so if you are constantly exposed to high levels of adrenaline and cortisol, then that is getting tricky. That is the time when you might start to feel exhausted. You might feel like you're being a little bit unfocused and you might also feel physical and mental consequences of those high sustained stress levels. And you're starting to feel like you're not enjoying something that previously you have really enjoyed doing. And it is really powerful to know that on both sides of the spectrum, so both when you're having too little stress and on the other side when you're having too much stress, that you can feel unmotivated, uninspired and where you just simply do not deliver your best results. In my profession as a peak performance coach and stress management trainer, I usually see clients and participants of my trainings be too stressed. So they are constantly on this high level of adrenaline and cortisol release. And that is extremely unhealthy for your body. And what exactly can happen when you are under sustained high levels of stress, then you should listen to my podcast episode on burnout, where I talk about how I got into the state of anxiety and depression because I just simply couldn't break that negative stress cycle for a very long period of time. So let's talk about a couple of different tools that you can do in order to get back to that peak performance spot or your magic spot, right? Because at the end of the day, that is what you want to experience, right? You want to feel most motivated and you want to feel inspired and you want to have pleasure doing the things that you're doing at work and in your personal life. And it's also one of the things that I recently experienced myself. I have been working so much and so hard and it's been a really, really tiring first year for me as an entrepreneur. If you want to learn more about this, make sure to check out my entrepreneur playlist. And I've been feeling overwhelmed and tired. I need to make a lot of different decisions. So at the end of last week, I felt really tired. And usually I'm feeling super motivated to do the different things in my business and I am ambitious and I have no problem at all to keep going. But last week I had really a dip in my own performance. And what I did at that point was I just took care of myself. The biggest thing that you should be taking care of is yourself. Because if you don't have energy, you cannot give energy to anything else. And that is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make. And I have a really great podcast episode about exactly that topic as well. The biggest mistake that you make. You should definitely listen to that one. And so what I did last week was that I dropped all of the responsibilities and all of the things that I had to do in order to take care of myself. What that specifically meant was that I didn't do my morning routine that I usually do. I didn't make my bed, I didn't wash the dishes, I didn't care about the dirty laundry that was in the laundry hamper and I just simply did the things that brought me joy. For example, I went to yoga classes, I spent time with my fiance, we went out for a run, we went hiking, I met with a friend and just hung out with her and when I came back and I had refilled my own cup and I felt re-energized, I didn't only have my motivation back, but all of the things that I had to take care of were really quickly taken care of. It didn't take me a lot of time, but I really needed that recharge time and that reflection time in order to fill my own energy levels. And you know, sometimes we feel like we always have to keep on going. We feel guilty if we don't do, because we have a very hard time to be. But once you learn that when you are taking time for yourself and you're recharging your own batteries, you will learn that this is 
way more sustainable and way more productive than the other way. So let me summarize what I wanted to share with you today. If you are feeling unmotivated right now, there might be two reasons. Either you do not have enough challenges in your life at the moment and you need to increase your mental stimulation in order to get your adrenaline and cortisol pumping in order to meet your peak performance spot. Or on the other side of the spectrum, you might not feel very motivated right now because you're having too much stress and you're taking too little time for yourself. So think about what is going on in your life right now and I would love to hear from you. So no matter if you are finding yourself on the one side of the spectrum or on the other side of the spectrum, leave a comment below and let me know what you have learned from this video and in which phase you are currently finding yourself in. I would love to hear from you and I will make sure to answer all of your comments or any questions that you might have with relation to this video today. And if you haven't done yet, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also make sure to hit that little bell in order to receive notifications when new videos are coming online. I really want to help you succeed. I want to help you be as productive as possible while living a healthy life that you love. So check in and see what other topics I'm talking about on a regular basis to build a wonderful life. Life. Thank you so much for watching this video today, Julia. Mm -hmm.